in here. Keeping everybody hype. Oh, yeah. Making some good plays. Mm. Keeping them nice and caffeinated up yeah. to get through, get through this tournament. Giving everybody wings. Everybody wings. <laughs> uh, so right now we got Ivan. We're looking at uh, undefeated right now, by the way. Uh, I mean, we've always been bringing, you know, whoever's whoever's winning. Um, but at round four, it starts to, you know, see who's really pulling ahead of the pack. I've been playing a little bit of what we've seen across uh, multiple formats here. Just some Omnath value. Some four-color control. Which, again, really just leaning on a lot of triomes and lands yeah. to, to play all these, uh, again, uh, quote-unquote greedy mana base things. Uh, yeah. And really just doing what it does. You got some Solitude, some Fury, some Ren and Six. It's kind of the whole suite of what's the best card I can play in this color. Uh, sure, let's jam four of them in the deck. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, notably, he's playing Kahira as the companion here. So yeah. I'm not going to be seeing any uh, Quaddles in this list. We're not going to see any Elishorns in this list. Uh, it's just going to be that straight yeah, this, classic this, Elementals. This is, this is just straight up all the value Elementals. Oh, and here it is on stream for it. So, four Omna, four Solitude, only three Fury, why, and not four? <laughs> um, but Notables, I suppose, uh, to really push the control element, uh, four Teferi, four Ren and Six, four Leyline Binding, four Expressive Iteration, two Jace the Mind Sculptor, who doesn't get enough love nowadays, but, you know, we got two there. And then we got four Prismatics and two Chalice of the Voids. Um, a little tricky yeah. for some decks to deal with a main deck chalice of the void yeah. but uh, <laughs> it's get you. i don't know how hard it's going to be for alex specifically is he's playing affinity um a little bit of thought cast a little mm. bit of cranial plating some ornithopters yeah you got, you got a couple of zeros couple of ones couple eight nine ten yeah. <laughs> you know got, he's yeah. got a healthy mix <laughs> yeah i think if you're casting chalice for anything more than two you're probably not feeling too good about it yeah so, so i think he's got he's got a good shot um plus urza saga uh pretty pretty good at just getting around yeah any of that stuff right oh, yeah. um only so many solitudes and things like that to really deal with the value of making multiple but oh, yeah. it looks like alex got to be on the play and starts out with the old faithful double ornithopter go oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah and it looks like he does have a cranial plating too he's on that uh, that type of affinity and you don't see that too often anymore they usually like to try yeah. to not go towards that uh cranial anymore but um it is fun when it, it is fun when it comes back right yeah you're like what is that you're like oh my god wait, how that, big is it that only thought was gonna hit me for how much <laughs> oh and speaking of the devil we got an arza saga on one here um let's see i can't really tell ivan's hand is obviously just full of cards um multiple lands a, looks like a chalice maybe a teferi he's two teferis um and a ren and six so it looks like he's got the planeswalker uh two three set up yeah. ready to go you, you know what doesn't die to one damage ornithopter, ornithopter. <laughs> uh an ornithopter with a cranial plating on it though now that's yeah. scary yeah yeah not gonna, not gonna be a lot of fun i mean uh i was in a position here to just kind of just take four or five damage next turn and, yeah uh, i mean he has to think right play ren and six get a land back if he needs to mm -hmm. ren and six probably gonna die yeah. Ren and Six is going to take the hit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ren and Six uh, might, might not be long for this world, but we'll just kind of see how it's going. Yeah. Um, see how Ivan wants to play this just because he does have those four bindings. So you need to get that white here so it can set up for a binding if he does decide to do so. But, yeah. um, you know, it looks like Ivan is just going to run that Ren and Six out, mm -hmm. maybe get a little extra value off that land yeah. and just kind of just tank the hit on that cranial plating, save off a little bit yeah, of damage. Yeah. I mean, I think Ivan really wants the long game. Mm -hmm. In terms of like that's where his deck excels is just getting the value out of you know Teferi Solitude Fury like just all of the the top end cards per se. Um, I don't think he, like he's probably looking at his hand going I have multiples of these things like I have yeah. Teferi I have this Chalice that isn't really doing anything just a lot of uh, awkward situational stuff. And then we got Alex here uh, getting Emery in play. Uh, what did he hit off? Double at? Citadel Memnite and then a. Zero drop that is in Japanese that I don't know because I do not uh, read Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> what? <laughs> um, I'm taking a look. Could be a bobble. There's a handful of things that cost. Oh, I think it was a bobble. Here. I think it, I might recall that. Art. Yeah, I would say. Yeah. Because we already see what his ornithopters look like, so there's a pretty yeah. good chance that it's a mistress bobble. Um, yeah. so just a, a couple of well-rounded cards. Nothing mm -hmm. uh super scary, but uh good value things to get back with Emery. Yeah. 
Might see a uh, maybe a Ch Chalice on Zero here just from Ivan. Just just get rid of that bobble, get rid of that uh, Memnite uh, option here for Alex, but mm -hmm. um, you know, kind of essentially make an Emery not quite as good because Emery Emery bobble is a pretty good combination of cards there. So yeah, I mean, there's definitely a lot of argument to maybe trying to <laughs> to fairy bounce. Uh, Ornithopter, and then just like Chalice on Zero, and then he can't play yeah. the Ornithopter in that cow, <laughs> and then play the other Teferi later yeah. to get rid of the other one and just kind of like lock him in that way. Oh, he's gonna hit that Rust Veil Bridge here. Oh, a uh, tricky an play, and yeah. not one that you can do very often, but yeah. Teferi, uh, it's not exactly, uh, you know, land destruction per se mm -hmm. um but it's closer to a time walk in this which yeah. very uh on brand for teferi yeah it's <laughs> <laughs> an opponent doing the doing the time walk thing yeah we can see a uh, um ursa saga here popping off mm -hmm. um I and mean, there's a couple things he can get here he um oh hey might not be that bad if he wants to turn on yeah. his zero drops kind of awkward huh because now urza saga gone as well sets him back to land essentially yeah yeah, I mean, if he does have another land, then he can also just hit like a Shadow Sphere here. Yeah. Um, looks like that is not his idea. Yeah, that he's the Haywire might fight. seem safe enough, right? Yeah. Like yeah. a decent uh card to have access to when you know your opponent's on Leyline Bindings and yeah. things of that nature, or if he's really worried about the Chalice just blowing it up. Like, yeah. there's a handful of plays that he can make that seem reasonable, and like life gain, not really necessary at this no, point not a huge, and huge you know offense. haywire might attacks for one yeah that's yeah, it a, it's, it's a threat yeah. he's got that spring <laughs> drum to turn on that haywire might so yeah. in case he does want to pop he said land land I, I don't need land where we're going <laughs> i can see how alex plays this here i mean just having the um yeah the ornithopter here just and well, say, and and for emory doing the the thing she does not do six. often attacking yeah swinging in <laughs> with that one damage now, Ivan does have two Solitudes in hand, but he also has a, a redundant Teferi in hand, right? So, yeah. is he? he's not necessarily incentivized to Solitude, pitching another Solitude, <laughs> to lose both, essentially, to just get rid of one every. Yeah. It's just very awkward. Yeah, oh yeah. He's going to move over this... Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Glamour fighting here. Wait. Not leaving mana open for that Haywire might. So it looks like he's just going to kind of let that... You know, if it if, if he dies, it dies. Yeah. Um, you know... I don't know if the iPhone wants to try to pop that off just so he gets to keep that chalice hanging around, but um, at this point, I don't think he's really too worried about his opponent playing zero drops. I think he's just more <laughs> worried about getting hit with that cranial plating over yeah. and over again. Oh, but he's going to start with an expressive, which, you know, good place to start, because um, it looks like he might have got a little trapped on land, maybe just a tiny bit. Um, okay, Yeah, sure. hit a couple more lands in there. There was the... Uh, uh, Sultai Triome, and then there was that Windswept Teeth in addition to uh, uh, Jace that he put into his hand. So. Yeah, which Jace pretty good about, you know, just popping things out of the way. Yeah. Uh, again, just you bounce enough of uh, these zero drops, and with this uh, Chalice on zero, like, you can't yeah. replay it. You gotta do something about <laughs> yeah. it, right? So, yeah. uh, I'm just gonna stay. I mean, Haywire Might's a good answer. Yeah, we'll see if he wants to get rid of that here and not. Deal with it. Oh, we got another random six here. It oh, looks like he she still can be... ping off the haywire yeah, might now. A very clean answer to our little devious one one. Um, and the next turn could start seeing some some ornithopters going back to the hand for good. Yeah, yeah. He sees it. Maybe you know, let's kind of see if Alex wants to deal with the uh, random six here because Emery will not kill this Planeswalker since it's yeah. a two. So he has to send that ornithopter with that green yeah, which... again, try feels... to get it. So feels bad right oh and then here is where the solitude does come in for value yeah. and oh he's gonna oh, pick off hammering yeah. okay incentivized to just not worry about teferi anymore yeah yeah can i see how it goes here he does have those that jason hand too so he will be able to um oh <laughs> quick uh, <yeah. laughs> i just threw the land in play without yeah. drawing but uh he's just so excited to play that Urza and then Saga. and then realized the thought cast well that drawing more cards cranial plating draw oh right i dig okay. it okay i think it's definitely exciting. i mean Let's just see if I mean, Alex could just kind of jam that cranial plating and equip it on that same ornithop here and then just yeah. get in there. Let's see if that's what he does. Yeah, I mean, at this in. point, how much does he care about Renin Six? It's not killing either yeah. either ornithopter. Yeah. So looks like you're gonna scoop yeah, it up. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's hitting for quite a bit, quite a bit of damage there. I mean, the Jace is not going to be fast enough to get rid of both of those ornithopters before I even stead. So yeah, because interestingly enough, 
Ivan only has so many white cards, and this is kind of goes back to what I was talking about earlier, where mm. the four color decks are so stretched as to the pitching cards to certain things mm -hmm. that they don't always have the on color card to pitch multiple times. So like he had two solitudes, yeah, and chose to pitch the Teferi to keep access to the other solitude, mm -hmm. but had no other white card in hand that I saw. Yeah, so like he knew. Oh, sure, you can play the Jace, bounce one of them, but then he's just dead to the other one. Yeah. So, you know, take a draw step. If you don't hit exactly white card, yeah, you're just dead. Yeah. I mean, at this point, you're probably just hoping to just draw, like, and it's kind of funny because you don't think that drawing multiple legendary creatures is good. But, I mean, just drawing multiple on that sometimes is just great. I mean, yeah. you just, it pitches to everything in your deck. Yeah. Um, whatever you want to play, Fury, Solitude, Endurance, Force of Vigor, Force of Negation, like, mm -hmm. whatever you want. Uh, Omnath is, those extra Omnaths are just going to pitch to it in a tight spot. <laughs> also, you know, Omnath sometimes uh, a 4-4. Four, four. You play, draws you a card. Yeah. Does all the things. Yeah. But also, sometimes you just throw them away. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I don't want everything. I just want this one thing. Yeah. If one, if one effect wins you the game, then that's, that's yeah, all you need. Uh, so let's look at sideboards. What are we thinking about over here on... Uh, well, let's look at Ivan's list first, since he's going to be on the play. Hmm. What? I mean, immediately, my eyes go to the three Besaju's yeah. that he definitely is bringing in, right? I mean, if there's any matchup that I could see wanting three extra Besaju's, is this the matchup? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the the artifact deck, I, I you know, I'm not you too know, sure about that. It seems fine. I mean, EE on zero or one or whatever, yeah. like, is whatever matters is probably not mm -hmm. an insignificant thing yeah. to do. And then wear and tear hitting... Yeah, you know, sometimes if you sitting need a more, saga and if you need artifact, more than three yeah. besieges. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, like I don't need to win right away, <laughs> but I'm just gonna make it so you can't win right away. Yeah, so I'm just gonna destroy everything that you play. <laughs> I mean, always having access to Kihir is nice. Gives you a little, you know, just that yeah. that little extra thing that all companions do. A little friend. Yeah, a little, little friend little to call on. And hanging out. Um, I mean, you definitely also just sometimes just see just just Kahira beats getting in there. Like, yeah. just kill every single one of your creatures, just hitting for three over and over again. I mean, free card is a free card, and if it gets yeah. to attack, then you feel like you're winning, right? Oh, yeah. Feels real good. But, uh, yeah, I can't imagine too much else he'd want out of this. Uh, he's really just trying to pull apart what Alex is doing. And if we look at Alex's sideboard, what can he do about uh, any of that? Now, I see at least one Welding Jar... Welding Jar, great against Besiege. Um, yeah. Could even stop an EE. Not great against the card Solitude, though. <laughs> no. Uh, he doesn't have much for those those pitch elementals. No. I mean, he doesn't have any of the um, Void Mirrors, no, like, Torpor Orbs or anything. It's, yeah, like, he's... He can't run those with Emery, You but... know, he's got two Fluster Storms, two Damping Spheres. Like, he has a little bit of play. Uh, even two Brazen Bars, which is a little fun, a little easy way to deal with some things maybe a maybe an awkward chalice or something like that yeah. brain bar is the the super good catch-all card for blue right where it's just yeah kind of like uh you know what what can't i deal with right now let's yeah. bounce it <laughs> what do i want to get rid of that one that's um, a problem but outside of that uh, so what ivan's deck is doing is is colorful but arguably fair right like mm -hmm. you know free cards aside nothing's ever free and force cards and, and pitch cards are no different so while he is doing powerful things, they they always come at a cost. Yeah. Um, which means that his deck doesn't necessarily run very quickly. Um, yeah. Alex, on the other strong. hand, can essentially just drop his hand on turns one and through two. Yeah. And have a significant board state. Um, with maybe a counterspell backup in in just a single fluster storm or something that could oh, yeah. really just lock Ivan out. Yeah, and as we saw with cranial platings, like. This could just be a fast I mean, block. Two you could just kind of get in there really, so really good. good. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Adding seven power to your zero two flyer is not bad. Yeah. So, um, and we see, you know, coming in that artifact land. Yeah. Will it hurt him again? Yeah. I've been obviously making the heads up yeah. play last time of just bouncing it uh, when his yeah. opponent was, you know, going to lose his other land to the saga just popping. Yeah, and really. If he would have been any further behind in the game, could have significantly stunted his growth of of his yeah. you know board. But given that he already had so much value in play, it, it didn't change much about that particular yeah. game. Just preemptively kind of putting Ivan on the back foot there. Yeah. Um, just with the sheer amount of creatures and power that he had pretty early on. Uh, looks like Alex here opted to um, play the Midnight. I did see that he did have a Mormon Thopter, but he decided not to play that. Mm -hmm. um, kind of hold on to it, maybe for a later turn, maybe... Not, not too sure why I wouldn't want to jam it out there. Maybe a, something sneaky, but 
Um, so he's going to get in for one here. He does have a spell bomb in hand as well, so he has mm -hmm. access to quite a few artifacts he can get into play, start getting those thought casts into a manageable uh, area yeah. of, of, of casting. <laughs> no land here from Alex, though, so um, he won't be able to cast Gosh. a thought cast quite yet here. So He has an he's... Emery yeah. and, what, two thought cast and... Yeah, just a lot of cards with yeah. text and none Shadow of them Sphere. that say uh, tap for green or blue. Yeah, yeah. I think he's maybe looking to um, get that spell ball right here this turn, and then maybe next turn... Bounce literally anything and draw a card. And... Yeah, yeah. I mean, we'll see. I mean, Alex isn't off to a fast start here, so... Uh, this is give, definitely given Ivan that wiggle room. <laughs> and Ivan needs. already, I can see, with at least one Besage in hand. Yeah. Um, and then Leyline, Binding, a Memnite, yeah. you know, for fun, for the value. Uh, gets rid of that artifact, notably for Alex. I mean, you know, obviously he's not quite aware of that, but uh, Alex is uh, still not able to cast Thought Cast. Um, looks uh, like he might go ahead and do that same thing. Oh, so, no, he's yeah. going to bounce that uh, spell bomb. Yeah, so why not? Leave his opponent with nothing on board. Now, again, he can just kind of recast some things, but... Need the land to do it. And, yeah. uh, you know, he has Ornithopter. Can get it into play. He yeah. most likely just kind of wanted to wait. He probably doesn't want to get them picked off by EEs or something more yeah. simple, right? He wants to actually cast his Thought Casts and, like, yeah. get value out of them. Mm -hmm. And Ornithopter can't attack. Like, I mean, yeah. okay. Ornithopter, <laughs> uh, no disregard to Ornithopter's can't attack uh, combat <laughs> capability. It is not a defender. It can swing. Yeah. It is an O2. <laughs> Despite what we, what we saw earlier. Yeah. These ones can actually attack. Hilariously, Bulwark would not have any effects on the no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that part was good. Let's see here. Omnath? Yeah. Ooh, it's oh. one of those pretty game day ones, too. Oh, um, look at that. Yeah, million lines of text card that everybody Yeah, we don't need to know what it does. Nope. No, you no don't know what it does it. by now? Yeah. Like, you haven't been playing Modern very long. No. <laughs> Let's see if we see a thought cast from Alex here. He's got those far He's got to go for at least yeah. one, right? And get like, that blue, so which... let's hopefully we can uh, get another land here for Alex. I mean, you got to you got to think that there's one in there, right? Uh, oh, uh, oh, there's a bridge. There is, there is one. Yeah, it's not tap, the one he but... wanted. But, but he just take it. some thought cast next turn too. You have another thought cast, and he did draw a thought monitor too. Yeah. So get in yeah. some extra cards here. Uh, didn't leave that blue open. Yeah, this is awkward when you see Ivan's hand is just very full of cards, yeah. and he has to imagine that most of them do something. But yeah. starting out with an expressive, again, it's just a good place to be. Uh, I see another expressive, a land, and a solitude. Expressive to the hand, you know, solitude to the to the deck here. Oh, okay. okay. Maybe he's looking to fetch, play fetch, just hard cast solitude, get rid of one of those uh, yeah, monothopters, I mean, just... <laughs> Not that you can tell, but one of the things that Omnath is really good at is if you play a land, go and fetch, get another land. With all of these land drops combined, you get one of each Omnath color mana. Yeah. Which, add another white to that, that's a hard cast solitude. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, it looks like that's what he's going to be doing here. He does have seven mana available to him currently, so yeah. he can play that solitude in... Um, uh, he can actually also still cast that EI if he does want to. Yeah, sure, why uh, not? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because we you know what you need. Looks like he's not going to do that, actually. He's going to leave up some mana. Yeah, it would be a little awkward. He misses another land drop off of yeah. it because he's already made one. So it's like it, not as good a value as just waiting until yeah. next turn. He does have a Beseju. Looks like maybe two Besejus is what he's holding on. Yeah, it looks yeah. like that's exactly Which what he's that... got. He's got double green. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew that he could bring in all the Besejus? <laughs> yeah. So strong. Uh, it's better than one besage you. Two besage you. Hey, yeah. look, it's legendary. All right, but the funny uh, thing is here one, is seeing solitude one, eating an ornithopter. Just a, oh, a simple yeah. yep. humble O2. <laughs> it never hurt anybody ever. Yeah. There's no cranial plating. There's nothing to be scared of. You got frogmite coming in. Don't see frogmite too often nowadays. Yeah. Uh, it dies to a uh, <laughs> an, an unholy heat uh. <laughs> without it. Uh, um, but ooh, okay, Shadow Spear. Spear. So we, you know, get some more artifacts out. Really trying to uh, show off here. Thought Monitor uh, again, a very expensive card that lets you draw two. It's a two-two flyer, and playing an Odawara, You know, getting some more land. Yeah. Maybe I see mean... another Thought Cast here or something. Oh, he does have one in there. I can see it. It's that nice old ordered one. And just draw some extra cards, or if he wants to hold on to that. Does have three Emery's. Three um, Emery's is a is a couple too many. I would yeah. argue. I mean, this one's free, essentially. Yeah. So we'll kind of see. Uh, oh, there we go. 
Yeah. I, the, the glare is very specific to exactly what yeah. he put in the graveyard. So it's like, I dismember a thought monitor, an island, and a... Uh, some other or is card. a saga? Yeah. Maybe? I think you're right. Yeah. Um, He probably would have liked to see that dismember. Yeah, yeah, that would have been great. Get rid of that Omnath off the battlefield. Like, he only has three in the sideboard, so one, being one down... Uh, yeah, like... Staring at this Omnath and going, well, I can bounce it, but like, what? Yeah. <laughs> so then he gets to draw another card. It's is it it seeming bad. Like... Especially when your opponent is already sitting on like six cards in hand still. So yeah. it's like you're just giving them more value. Um, and, you know, the Affinity deck doesn't have any one particular creature that is like innately powerful, right? Like it yeah. kind of leans on throwing a cranial plating on somebody or making an Urza Saga token that's gigantic. Yeah. Um, yeah, making shadow sphere to give a trample yeah. so he can get through anything. And, just and right now he doesn't it. have that. No, yeah, he doesn't have much going on. He's got a whole bunch of small creatures. He does have one of those cranial platings in his hand, so um, we'll kind of see if he wants to jam that out here. I mean, uh, on thought monitor it has flying. You know, could be yeah. could be solid. Yeah. Ornithopter, same thing. Yeah, um, I'm gonna see if... another solid to just hard cast here. Just oh, that but if it's off. on Emery, I'm okay with that. Yeah. If I'm Alex, I'm like, yes, absolutely, like, sure. sure. <laughs> It's mill some more cards. Yeah, I'll cast <laughs> I don't feel definitely. bad about casting a second Emery now. Yeah. Like, yeah. We, we know that Ivan doesn't have things like Trong's deck that we saw last round. He doesn't have Ephemerates or anything like that. Like, these Solitudes do their job. And then yeah. they're, they're, they're essentially done. They're, yeah. they're not, you know... I mean, he can Teferi his own creatures back and, like, reset it that way. It's a little expensive. Yeah. A, little, a little harder to do. But he could do it. Yeah, definitely doable. Yeah. I think Ivan's kind of sit here, just going to kind of. Ivan's got to be sitting on two besages, going, I, I don't know how I lose this game, you know? Yeah. Like, at what at what point do you just casually drop them on the table, like, oops, yeah. <laughs> all my besages? Oh, no. <laughs> game three. <laughs> <laughs> just, just to spare a little time. Yeah, it looks like he's thinking about what he wants to do with this Teferi here. Yeah, he's going to go and pitch that off. He's going to bounce uh, his own binding. Now, see, like yeah. I said, again, these are things you can do with Teferi. It mostly just depends on how much you value your Teferi staying alive. Yeah. Um, he didn't... Not too much, anyway. I'm going to go ahead and re-hit that Binding here. Yeah, he's going to get rid of that spell bomb. He just yeah. wants to keep dudes on the board here and try to close this game out before I can get that incremental value from all those big cast things. So. Mostly because he probably realizes, like, he's he's got the Besaju. He can keep one thing locked down. If Alex makes any play that of significance, he'll just Besaju in response, probably. Yeah. And that closes this game. Yeah. That that's you know, and when you see Urza Saga, you're like, okay, you know, that's yeah. Urza Saga tokens will be gigantic on this board right now. Definitely could block an Omnath or yeah. something. But <laughs> you gotta get there first. It, but it won't be good enough no. against the, the the might of Besage. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Besage looks at it and says, I don't care how big you are. I'm yeah. gonna, you're an artifact, you're gonna you're I going mean, away regardless. I Alex's best option would be to find a welding jar on top of whatever plate he makes. And, yeah. You know, it would buy him time. But then Ivan would just get to untap with another besiege. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so it would not be ideal. Because welding jar, you know, does remove the thing from combat that it regenerates. So it, it doesn't yeah. actually get to do anything. Yeah. So Ivan is in really no danger no matter what happens here. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to see a second bomb monitor from Alex here. Yeah. Uh, looks like drawing might in a pithing needle. Um, <sighs> pithing needle, a little late on yeah. the uh, Teferi, huh? Yeah, a little too late. <laughs> I mean, Ren and Six, it's not arguable, really doing but it's, yeah, it's not doing a whole lot. At, I mean, I he can certainly pick off a Mem Knight, <laughs> but you know, like, what does that even what does that even matter, right? Yeah, we're going to see Emery, second Emery coming in here. Uh, filling some cards. Yeah, maybe a land in there. They're, we're officially off camera now. It's yeah. it's no man's land. We don't know what's Too many happening. cards in the graveyard. <laughs> I mean... All right, we're going to see this needle come down. Like, it's good because he wants the artifacts in play, obviously. Mm -hmm. You name Renin Six because it's one of the only things you can name. It's yeah. that or Teferi, right? But it's not really doing anything. It's just a... I have this card. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it yeah. out here. Yeah, it is one, gonna... one less thing for you to do. Yeah. <laughs> like... <laughs> it does give Alex kind of free reign to... Not have to worry about attacking Ren and Six yeah. now, though, um, because it's just it's just shut off now. So yeah, uh, you could just go for a life total instead, because he's definitely going to get that going down. I mean, Ivan's essentially playing an additional land each turn, uh, not additional, 
Landing Sharon. Just playing any Landing Sharon, so he's able to uh, uh, keep it going with on after his game in life. But yeah. Ivan is and, not having it. He wants to get rid of it. one green because on is in play, so the legendary claw is going into effect. Yeah. The simplest of, here, you can go get a land. Yeah. I, I heard good. you need it, though. Yeah, right. Here you go, man. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of a good bait here, too, because Ivan does have that other Versagio, so it's true. Uh, Alex may be thinking, oh, the coast is clear, the Versagio is gone, let me slam this cranial plating and uh, get in there for some damage, but it uh, looks like Ivan's got a prismatic ending over there. I mean, the too, problem so. is that Alex is, like, in the position of making blocks now, and not good ones. No, no, his creatures are quite small, so... Uh, like, I mean, you could trade off with some solitudes. Yeah. Um, not like exactly. Like frog bite for a solitude, solid. I'll take that yeah. all day. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, one thought monitor under the other one, and then you know, Memnite probably. Yeah. Could hit triple land with this EI. Totally fine. Omnath on battlefield. Hit fetch land, exile, fetch land into hand, making yeah. sure you get those land drops for. I mean, Omnath. he, he can put. He can I mean, he can, Alex is at you know basically uh, six then. Yeah. Because of Omnath's, you know, final trigger four damage, just because, yeah. because, because the card has red in it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because why not? Why he not he kind of channels fury, but at the opponent's face <laughs> yes. instead of the board. <laughs> gonna take this here. Gonna see a fetch here. Is that looking looks like to hold on to that land? He wants this. He wants his mana now. Yeah, I mean, essentially closing this game out this turn. Uh, I mean, Alex, Alex can survive here. But it's survival. It's not. Yeah. It's not winning. Uh, yeah. There's still that Kahira hanging out there that we haven't seen I even pick up. Yeah, which you might see that here, putting those solitudes into four threes, um, getting around those creatures and not allowing us to just trade up. Yeah. Looks like Ivan's got that idea here. He's gonna go ahead and slam that sweet serialized Kahira. Yeah. Might as well make use of your mana, right? I yeah. Mean, and he's got so many cards in hand that it's just hard to say no to that kind of value. Uh, they're probably just discussing how he's using the the fetch to get the mana to yeah. do all the things that he's doing right now. Yeah. Um, and again, it's it's harder on us because we can't hear how they're vocalizing yes. what they're doing. Um, we know that Omnath yeah. makes four mana. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah. We know that he can use that to to get and cast this Kahira. Yeah. Oh yeah. Def definitely the mana's there. Um, you know, presumably it's just... And he did cast the Expressive this turn, but that's it. So, mm -hmm. um, so use the first two for Expressive, uh, use that, so one, two, three, four, yeah, I mean, that's six. Yeah. So, I, I don't enough. see any issues, so, yeah. uh, I'm sure they'll come to that same conclusion, but... Yeah, yeah when he's just kind of, uh, when your Omnath is textless, uh, yeah, it yeah. produces four mana. Yeah, what's <laughs> up with that, like Wizards? Why do you want to make all the... The texty cards, textless. First, Omnath and then Thalion the Gitrog, and they're like, you know what? Just you gotta learn your cards. Yeah. You can't tell people to read the card if they can't read it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, reading the card. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Step one. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Not <gone>. today. <laughs> it yeah. is very cool looking though. Omnath does look. Oh yeah. Super scary right there. Yeah. The big, big angry jello. <laughs> the big. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of thought he looked more like the blob there, though. Like, blob the, works, like yeah. the old movie, though. You know, oh, like, yeah. Or what is it? A blubber or whatever? A but... blubber, yeah. <laughs> Always a really messed up Gumby character. <laughs> <laughs> like one that was outside too yeah. long. <laughs> it's the adult swim Gumby. Gosh. <laughs> Um, let's um, see. It looks like he's just bashing here. Those guys got vigilance now. Yeah, so. see, I assume this is an attack, but yeah. Alex is trying to figure out if he can live through. Which, again, I believe the answer is yes. We already know he has a third Emery in hand, so yeah. giving away this one doesn't really hurt. Um, if I was Alex, I feel like I'd be incentivized to throw, you know... Uh, the zero two? <laughs> I mean, he does have flying. There's a little bit of extra value with that, but I mean... Probably a Midnight. You probably want to just get rid of some ground creatures here, because they're essentially just blockers at this point with Kahir giving Vigilance. Like, you don't want to block Midnight all Midnight has Trample. <laughs> yeah. But... <laughs> he mostly just has to figure out, does he want to make trades, or does he want to survive and figure out a way to kill Ivan? Yeah. Yeah, which is getting farther and farther away with... I mean, oh. Ivan gaining four life... Uh, sorry, eight life Yeah, I would say he's gaining... Which, you're not even counting, like, he, he gained life from playing land. Yeah. Because thanks, Omnath, you just yeah. do all the things. And then Solitude's attacking is just more life. And then he still has the significant board state left after all of this. Mm -hmm. And Alex is just just dying on multiple fronts. 
yeah. to creatures to removal to a little Ooh, bit of, yeah. a little bit of everything again uh that yeah, cradle really plating's got a lot of work to do <laughs> yeah yeah i've been still sitting on double with here uh, getting back that second one with Ren and Six after yeah. ending the Ornithopter. Just get rid of some of those flyers just in case. Uh, we kind of get like a double plating, you know, Bashy for a ton hand, which it's like, is not looking like it's an Alex's hand right Alex now. has another Urza Saga in hand, and like he has the cranial, like he has the tools to make such a good board state and swing. He yeah. doesn't have the time. No, no. <laughs> it's going to be over pretty quickly. I mean, maybe I'm just hoping for maybe a, uh, a Welling Jar here, maybe try to protect yeah. something, but. And even that wouldn't safe here he has oh, no way to gain any light oh, okay <laughs> he has a way to possibly gain two life <laughs> there we go hey wire might could do it yeah i mean you can hit that binding get that uh, spell bomb back and then yeah. uh uh go ahead and just get rid of omnath if he so desires or you know whatever yeah. you're thinking get to see that third Henry coming in <clears throat> it would buy time but again i think time is not winning time is just additional turns yeah <laughs> I won't say I know uh, affinity like I'm sure Alex does, as I believe he, you know, plays a decent amount. But yeah. I imagine he's just trying to see if there's any lines left for him here. Yeah, I've seen Jam play. And again, there. he doesn't know Ivan's hand. He doesn't. He knows about a Besager, right? Yeah. But he doesn't know. He's not seen the second one. He doesn't know about everything. Yeah. <laughs> all the problems. Can't have all the knowledge all the time. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see if it looks like this is going to be Alex's game plan right now, is maybe try to get this, get yeah. something with the plating in. I mean, Ivan's only at 28. We can work with this. Yeah, it's, you know, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he's just coming in. Yep. Oh, he's coming in to Ren, all right. Unless they try to get that off the battlefield here. Yeah. Uh, I don't really know if he has a lot of time to I mean, with no big needle Ren's now, it's like, it makes sense. I'm really surprised he wasn't... Well, I guess I'm not surprised. He he does have a shadow spear, but like going for it just means that's the thing that gets besaged. It's just yeah. kind of awkward. Yeah, I was just gonna pop off one of those besages here just to get rid of it, and then yeah. I mean, really, this is leaving Alex at six, facing down Omnath. You know, two solitudes and a Kahira. Yeah, he does only have two creatures currently too. So, uh, I mean, Alex is dead on board. Yeah, like. Haywire might well, just about, can, gain him two life. can block, sack, gain him the two life. He gets the spell bomb. He bounces something else before combat, or before damage, rather. Um, yeah, it but... looks like he's just going to get a fury here and then fury this board away. Yeah, uh, just, you know, just for funsies. Yeah. I mean, it basically means he has to do it now, and it's mm -hmm. now, now it's definitely not going to work out because yeah. that just means Emery and, and Haywire might are dead. Yeah. He can do the Haywire Might stuff in response, but that's not going to stop him from taking a million damage. Yeah, no. <laughs> like, what do you do? Bounce Kahira? Bounce the Omnath? It doesn't matter. No. Yeah, it's still still more than enough damage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah he's accident. just going to scoop it up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, good, good to see, you know, the lines your opponent takes. It's always useful information, especially game one, to kind of just understand how your opponent thinks about their own deck and, like, the yeah. choices that they make. But a little bit of extra info get for game three. Yeah. Um, I mean, Alex is going to be on the play, so I'm um, kind of just seeing some more cards. What uh, Ivan might have cited in here is just for some extra info, so he knows what to play around in game three might be. Yeah. Just fine, but. Or yeah, that was. I'm thinking that. Oh wow, that was a long game one. No, no, no. That was. No, they go to game three. That's yeah. right. Ivan yeah. died to uh, cranial. Yeah, double, double cranial. <laughs> yeah. What is this like? Two thousand five. Yeah. Bring it back. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love cranial plating. That card is whew. Yeah. It's funny not it's seeing like the like spring leaf drums for the black to like do it, you know, at instant speed kind of thing like it used yeah. to be. Oh yeah. Like actually having access to that. It's... When you had Opal and Spring Leaf drum. Yeah, like, like he doesn't mm. have any of that uh I don't want to say the 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 cheaty way to do it because it's literally printed <laughs> on the card. Yes. But it's just not it doesn't seem like something he's capable of doing with this iteration of the deck. Yeah. It's all it's all very fair, very fair affinity plays. <laughs> I've never heard those two words in the same sentence. Look, fair affinity. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing a lot of things where he gets to draw two cards eventually. He's gonna pay for it. That's fair. That's fair. See, you just said. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're. That's our word of the day. Fair. Fair. <laughs> like I appreciate a, a you know a fair game. Everybody's just doing their thing. Yeah. 
I think Ivan's thinking that too. He's going to take a mulligan here. Mm-hmm. Not liking that seven. I mean, if he doesn't have three besages in hand, this team isn't even worth oh, keeping. Yeah. <laughs> Why even bother? <laughs> <laughs> we saw at least two go the distance, so that's obviously what you need. Yeah. Also, I haven't seen a single welding jar out of uh, Alex's deck at all. He, they're definitely in the list. He has at least one in the sideboard, which I have to imagine yeah. came in. He's got one in the main as well. Yeah, see, so there's two. Well, yeah. yeah. Yeah, give a little bit of extra protection. Um, I mean, he can get them off Urza Saga if it mm-hmm. matters. I mean, game one, it didn't matter. Game two, he never had an opportunity to do that, you yeah. know. Looks but, like Ivan might be in the money here. He's got his double procedure. Oh, But it's not looking great otherwise. I think those are his only lands. Oh. He's got a Fury, Ren and Six. Oh, yeah, he's going to be going to five. Oh, I mean, man. He is, he's on the draw. Yeah. He's on the draw, he's which is a, draw. a better position to be mulling to five than if he's on the play. Yes, yes. But that's a scary spot to be mm-hmm. when you know Alex is on the play and has the possibility of just going and just yeah. dumping his hand out and going, oh, I'll play a lane, yeah. I guess. And go. He's keeping his full grip at that. Like, yeah, like that... on play with seven is just like... Because, I mean, you know, like classically, Affinity uh, mulligans pretty well and aggressively because... Mm-hmm. Some of his hands just don't do anything, right? Like yeah. you, you, you want the the well-rounded start. Now he's got what bobble? I think a welding jar. Yeah, at least yeah. one land. Um, maybe a pithy. I'm not sure what that other card is. Maybe. It looks like a one drop. Uh, you know, it might be a spring leaf drum. Maybe a spring leaf drum. Yeah. Uh, Emery and some other stuff. Yeah. I was gonna keep his five here. Yeah, I mean bobble lets you keep some tricky hands, yeah. knowing you're it gonna draw the extra drum. card. See, oh, brazen borrower. And then, what, two thought casts? Two thought casts. Not too bad. Okay. Um, he can't pop those off. <laughs> That's why the bobble is staying and not getting yeah. cracked, right? Oh, no, he's going for oh, it. He's going to go and peek at himself. All right. Now it's not a land. No, it's not. That was an El- <laughs> Ica spell bomb. That was also not a land. I mean... Uh, did get a creature. Did get a mite here. So uh, he'll be able to turn on that spring leaf drum now, okay. which... Uh, still not enough to get a stock cast. Does but, this so tap it, play that, and yeah. then has one, two, three, four. I mean, four artifacts and play one land. Yeah. Definitely see why he kept it, but it is a little tricky if he doesn't get a chance to uh, get that thought cast going. Yeah, I mean, any disruption on any of these artifacts right now, like getting rid of Haywire Might. <laughs> one uh, prismatic, so wiping, yes. <laughs> wiping hopes and dreams away immediately. Oh, yeah. Which, does Ivan have it? Does he have a prismatic to really make Alex cry a little bit here? Or, you know what? A Ren and Six. Ren and Six does go. it too. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to pop yep. off that might. So, turning off those thought casts in his hand. Um, oh. And Springleaf Drum is now not going to be used for anything. I mean, we can see a draw here. I mean, he does have Ornithopters and Memnites. So, that would be a great draw here for Alex. Uh, he's thinking about welding jarring it. He's thinking about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, understandable. An artifact for an artifact, right? Like, yeah. you might as well save what you got. Yeah, keep your dude on board. Uh, you can still thought cast now. It's not great uh, because you're paying two for it currently, but um, you might just want to just draw more. I mean, I think he has to, though, right? Yeah. Because he didn't draw the land. Mm-hmm. And if he doesn't play, like, he'll, he's, he will start to slip behind very quickly. Oh. He's just gonna go for beats. He's gonna go Emery here. Oh, well, you can you can play Emery. Oh, jeez, he was not hitting a land oh, in man. the next okay. four cards. Jeez, it's a good thing he didn't just fuck it. Yeah, right. He would have had a bad time. <laughs> yeah. We would have been able to. Well, no, he wouldn't have been able to cast for because <laughs> no. he'd still only have three. Oh, he was no. he was about to be in a weird position. Yeah, yeah. There is a couple zeros in there now for Emery now, which is good. Um. He's going to deal one to Emery, play a oh, Ren, deal one to Emery. Get her out of here. But look at Ivan's hand. It's like all land. Yeah. So, you know, Ren and Six, not not, to, not the fanciest thing to do, right? Oh, and he goes ahead and he's says, you know what? Up. I'm just going to bounce it back. Yeah, there's a Besage he looks like in Ivan's hand, so... Um, huh. I mean, Bes- if he keeps strong lands, he can just... Oh my gosh, Besage Alex, you, Ren, Besage Alex, you. Alex, where are your land? Yeah. Not looking, not looking hot here. You can see another right. Emery. That those are not land. No, no, no. Those are four more non-land cards. Now, uh, quick land check here. Let's let's count real quick. Four, seven, eight, nine. Um, not a lot of land. No, seventeen. Yeah. Seventeen land in Affinity seems a little low to me, right? Like, even Boggles plays, like, 19. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) 
I mean, I know you have spring leaf drum and like things like that. Um, but that's uh, that's some tight numbers. Oh, I'm just gonna order. Wow, oh, he's really just like here. you know what we're just pushing the value here, just yeah. pushing it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, right now, Ivan's just got some time. Like, I mean, he's got the Odawara and the Besaidu here. I mean, with Red and Six, he can just Odawara a lot. <laughs> yeah, just do it over and <laughs> over again. Getting just back. keep getting in. Yeah. Alex looks like drawing another artifact here, but... He did get Nikoth a cranial pudding. Looks like he's going to jam a Thought Cast here. He yeah. wants to get, just see if he can hit can another he land he hit the here, lands out of... I don't even know how many cards we've seen. Draw two lands. Ah, draw two lands. Draw. There, there we go. go. Uh, so that definitely helps. Luckily, both artifact lands. So uh, yeah. they return on the Thought Monikers uh, a little bit better in those Thought yeah. Casts. Uh, the Tangle comes in tapped, though, yes. Yeah, so so it's a little awkward. But turn. if he can't do anything this turn, you know, play the tapped land, kind of just say go and mm -hmm. to your best. The Ren and Six being alive is... Rough. Here. Yeah. All oh, prismatic, Ooh, expressive, and another win. Here. So, yeah, prismatic away the little mite. And, uh, yeah. feel pretty good about having another expressive for your next turn. Yeah, still feeling, yeah, feeling real good. Getting rid of some oh, mana spring here. Leaf huh. Minus oh, the kill. yeah, because he can just minus there anyway, so and it doesn't he matter. Still has the land for the Besaju up, too. Whew. Alex took a little while to find the land, and now that he has uh, lost his board that he had <laughs> to, <Yeah. laughs> to do something with it. So these thought casts looking a little awkward for another reason now. Yeah. Whereas they're, uh, they're, they're still expensive. <laughs> yeah, they still, they still cost at least three to two, looks like. Yeah, so, and now um, Emery is uh, probably going to start hitting things. Yeah, I was going to say, now she's hitting lands. some land. What was that? <laughs> four, four now land? four lands, all Emery, right. please. <laughs> The deck give it, and the deck take it away. Yeah. Yeah. So we're down here. Thought cast here. Yeah. yeah. I want to draw some extra cards to get in there. Is that another thought cast? Oh, no. That's an Odawara, and then another... I mean, Red and Six can't kill Emery specifically, so... Unless he draws another Red and Six, like he yeah. did earlier. earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start with an Expressive, see what we get. Great. Uh, land? Land, Red and Ren six. six. Oh, and no, will he run like it? another land. <laughs> Kill the Ren and Six, play the other one? Mine is the... Oh, <laughs> He's Lord, do it, it again. is. He's really does not want those Emerys on the Alex says, field. please. <laughs> yeah. Stop. I just... Stop, please. I just want to live. <laughs> yeah, that's the play we're going to see here. Um, well, yeah. Emery tried her best. Yeah, she got a lot of value. Yeah, we'll, we'll say uh, that she, she gets to add five parts to the graveyard. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, you can see a land drop here instead of holding yeah. on to the auto war. Yeah, think, but I think he has this. to, right? Yeah. Dismember, uh, not doing a whole lot against Ren Six specifically. Yeah, now, no he, creatures played. He definitely has stuff. the option to like flash and brazen bar on end step and and do some fun stuff there. Yeah, try to sneak out and just get that Ren and Six. Uh, afterwards i mean he does still have that old wara um, ivan does so yeah um, he can't always balance it because he also has the option with you know there's yeah, there's really no incentive to play out like your cranial platings and, and stuff right because they're just not doing a whole lot uh keep choosing to bounce an artifact yeah it's interesting so the blue so he's just gonna keep trying to uh stone rain his opponent time walk him a little bit yeah. just keep recycling odawaras and not let him have anything he's gonna put you here and yeah. uh ren and six uh might not be long for this world now i mean uh, i have so to imagine right world. like yeah goes and fetches i mean Ivan has had insanely bad luck in the opposite way of alex where he has hit all of his lands yeah every single one of them to an extreme degree. <laughs> and Alex just starting to catch up on lands still only has, you know, about half of what uh, Ivan does. Yeah, I mean, we might also just see a kind of smack you here from Alex. I don't know. No. I, he, you can't, I mean, it, Rensic can just kill Brazen Barber. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, he does have the uh, platings in his hand, so uh -huh. um, this is uh, going to be catching up here on the clock. Also, cause... like, so awkward to bounce 
a bridge that comes in tapped. Yeah. So it's like it's like no. you just can't let him have that value over and over with the Odoir, it's too much. Fuck has yeah, draws some more. Yeah. Alright, alright. It's like he has eight of them each day. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, and the saga, saga. That's all right, right. Now that's a land we want to see now. See and then my my so free. And, uh, another thought monitor here is going to uh, whip out a queer, uh, plating here, see if he can get again. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. It's going to thought monitor. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't run out the platings into nothing, right? Because like yeah. you can't really make anything happen with them right now. Yeah. So much better to just kind of sandbag the fact that he has two. <laughs> yeah, which is not bad because I mean yeah. he's got quite a good number of artifacts now and. Yeah. But drawing that other Dark Seal Citadel, he can now play both and equip both. Yeah. And with Urza Saga on the field, he also has the capability to start making tokens. Yeah. Which, you know, Solitude's pretty good at. And we know Ivan has a Besaju, Um, which Alex, so Alex probably would have been happy to see that earlier. <laughs> okay, he does have a Prismatic as well. So mm -hmm. he has access to quite a few ways to deal with things. Uh. Funny enough, incentivize probably to go, yeah, go for yeah. the Brazen Bar because it's just the most damage that he also cannot block. Yeah. And then Besage your way, your Urza Saga. Now, <laughs> we know that this Thought Monitor is going to get some cranial platings. Yeah, we it's going to plate up. Now, um, how many artifacts do we have in play right now? One, two, three, four, five? Seven. With the platings themselves, it'll yeah. be seven. He'll be able to double plating here, um, and then so actually, Ivan play the saga. Might be dead here. Yeah, Let's I actually think. Does. Oh, uh, he's just gonna just. I mean, this number's okay. free. Sure. It's very free. Why not? It's kind of a test, right? Play one plating. Yeah. I mean, Ivan always got one card in hand, so you know, solid uh, solitude's not an option. <laughs> Alex yeah. a little excited, like, dropping his hand here. Uh, yeah, I mean. There we go. And there's the handshake. Yeah. You can't, you can't argue that. Like that's just a lot of damage. I was like ten. I mean, wow. Yeah. What a, what a Oof, three. So interesting, man. What a, what a wild chain of events, right? Like they both had, they both did the things their deck does, right? Like mm -hmm. games one and two, and then they both just had the weirdest start where Alex had a couple of things to throw down, but no land. Yeah. And Ivan had, like planeswalkers, but like. Just the Renin Six, just like mono Renin Six, and just land. Yeah. So he wasn't even getting a ton of value out of the Renin Sixes getting lands back because he didn't need them anymore. Like his best yeah. value was to get back Besajus and like Odawars <laughs> and like run that plan. And unfortunately, I mean, Mold of Five hurts. It yeah, does. Definitely. Um, that particular one where he just didn't draw out of it, out, you know, oh, yeah. until very, very late hitting the expressives and just really not quite getting there in time. Yeah. Like, he needed to start hitting the Omnaths, hitting the Solitudes, hitting the cards that, like, Answer make cards. this deck why yeah. you play it, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, you yeah. want those finishers, because there was a whole lot of nothing for a while, and yeah. just, like, slamming something early, like, might have just closed out the game before... Yeah. You know, it's like, there's, window, there's to windows of time for Alex to just slam the door shut early and didn't yeah. have it, and there's windows of time for, you know, I to just kind of build back up really fast and, like, just go, you know... Ran six into Deferi into Omnath and just like, yeah, you know, just but there. just didn't have it. So, 